me again. I'm now 21. Yay! Which means I can legally do everything that I could legally do before. But really didn't do anyway. So this week we're talking about punctuation and I have to admit I don't really have a favourite or least favourite punctuation mark. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about punctuation and how it can help you if you use it in the right way and I'm not talking about the grammatically right way, I'm talking about you know, if you use it to, if you harness the power of the punctuation to build character and voice and that kind of cool stuff. But first I wanted to talk about the Oxford comma. Now for those of you who don't know what the Oxford comma is, I will explain it in a moment. So there's arguments for and against the Oxford comma. As a student who has focused a lot on the creative and professional writing aspects, um, as well as doing some journalism subjects, I can tell you that there are conflicts between um, different areas of writing on this matter and people like to argue it about it. Personally I'm for the Oxford comma and I'm about to explain to you why. There are a few funny pictures floating around the internet but I felt like being creative and uh, explaining to you myself. So I have a sentence written here. It's a simple sentence and I'm going to use it to illustrate why I think the Oxford comma rules. Here is the sentence. I don't know if you can see that. Oh look at my epic 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 drawing. This is how you interpret it. However, it's not what I meant. In fact, I'm going to add a little, an Oxford comma. Let's see the magic that occurs. Now it looks like this. I invited two clowns, pause, the Prime Minister, pause, and a police officer. Now it looks like a list. So the party that I've just started, because I walked in, I'm sorry, uh, looks like this. There's the Prime Minister, there's the police officer, and we have two clowns. So I definitely agree that the Oxford comma should exist. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is script writing. I've done a whole bunch of film subjects at university now and for a couple of them I've had to write scripts. Scripts are really interesting to write, really challenging because you have to be really concise and you know page limits are like err. And one of the things about script writing is in dialogue you don't want to use a lot of punctuation. I'm not saying you can't write you know lots of sentences, I'm saying you can't use exclamation points or in terabangs. Um, if you have one exclamation point in your whole script, that's like, oh, you have an exclamation point. That must be a really vital thing. That's really significant. Because you don't want to be telling the actor how to act out that character or what they're saying. Um, and you want to give them free space to interpret that character. So it's very different to where you're writing in regular kind of prose, where you can have the character do whatever you want while they're saying what they're saying or saying how you say it. But sometimes I think we mistrust the reader's ability to read and we over punctuate things. We put, you know, maybe more than one question mark, which is just don't ever do that. Why would you do that? Unless someone's writing something in a text and it's kind of vital that they are annoying. I also find this when someone's yelling something and it's in caps lock. If you do that all the time it starts to get annoying. So what I would suggest as a, as a writer to help ourselves make sure we haven't over punctuated stuff is to go through a portion of writing whether it be a piece of dialogue or a piece of uh, you know description or action description um, and highlight your punctuation. Maybe in different colours. Maybe you want to use a yellow highlighter for the full stops and a green highlighter for the commas and, and the other stuff. This will help you see A, how long your sentences are because you always want to modulate your sentence length otherwise it's really boring. Um, B, if you're using way too many commas it means that your sentences might be running on too long and sometimes it's more effective to just remove a comma. A lot of people write without using many commas and it's not grammatically incorrect and it actually gives their piece a specific voice. If you're using a lot of exclamation points, yeah, your writing can't be that epic. I mean, you need to be able to allow your writing to speak for itself instead of the exclamation points. If you're using a lot of interrobangs, then you probably need to seek help, okay? Because I know those things are just so powerful and so addictive. So I think that that's really helpful. It's something that's helped me. I think. As much as we give our characters a specific voice, uh, like we might have a character who says dude a lot, we might have a character that's really more, say, Australian than the rest. In the same way that we give our characters a specific language or voice, we can also give them a different um, way of speaking. Maybe they get cut off by other characters, so you need to put a dash. Maybe one character 
uh, trails off a lot. Thing is, when you're looking back over a passage of dialogue, um, if you're noticing that all your characters speak in the same kind of sentence length, maybe they're all trailing off at the end of their sentences. That can kind of give you an idea of how you each of your characters is coming across. So hopefully that uh, will help you guys, maybe. Um, it's something that's helped me. I'm definitely still pro Oxford comma, just because it's the right thing to do. I got this for my 21st birthday. I'm really excited about it. Um, it makes lots of noises. I'll leave you with this. That's the wrong sound effect. Supposed to exterminate you. Come on now. Come on. This is the one. This is the one. Partying all night and paying the carbon tax. Anyway.